Hey guys, so I made some changes to my component Apache and I wanted to test them out and make sure they were working. So to do so I wanted to create a separate project, import it in, and then use it. So that's what I have right here. And I want to talk about what the different options are to getting a local npm package um, and using it in a project because I've been doing something very bad and that is publishing this to npm and then just installing it as a regular package and really I should test it before I publish it to npm um, because I could have thrown a bug in there or made it crash or something so it's good to test this beforehand so how do you test this beforehand how do you test a local npm module right well one option is and this is what my directory structure looks like so I have this is the uh, source code for Pikachu right here and then app.js is in this folder called demo and demo is basically a whole nother npm package that is just a, a demo of it so option number one um, is to just install a local package with npm or with yarn so I can do yarn and just do dot dot um, oops I'm already in Pikachu so assume we're in demo so yarn dot add dot dot. So like instead of a package, I'm now specifying right here, this is what I want. Uh, and we'll do dot dot slash to specify that it's a local package, not just dot dot, that doesn't work. Okay, so notice it's installing this package. And if we go into package.json, we will see it pop up here in a second. Now this is a fine way of doing it, but there is one downside. So it will go ahead and install the package and add it to package.json and it'll be in node modules. But uh, if you made changes to the code over here um, in the library, it will not update. You'll have to run yarn add the package again whenever you make changes. So that can be kind of annoying. So yarn and npm have this thing called linking that you can do. So I'm just, while well, this thing is loading, what you can do is in the original package, so Pikachu is the package I would like to uh, install. So you can do yarn link, and this will go ahead and get it ready for linking. And you can see I've already linked it. So you can do yarn link or npm link, either one. And then in the package over here, Oh, I'm in Pikachu. CD demo. So then the package over here, what I would do is yarn link Pikachu. And now what will happen is whenever I make a change in this project, it'll go ahead and automatically change it uh, in demo because it now uh, linked the module. And if we run npm link, it'll actually show us uh, the directory that it adds it to. So we can see that it sets up a sim link. So whenever changes are made, it'll be changed in node modules uh, as well. Uh, terminated. Okay, so something got messed up. Maybe because I ha I rated yarn link on it, it doesn't like it. But yarn link is enough to do it. Okay, so why didn't I do either of those methods with this? Because I didn't actually end up doing those. So here's what it looks like in package.json. Uh, you have a dot dot slash when you add a local package like that. So those methods work most of the time and I've never had any problems with them until now when I was trying to do Expo. For whatever reason, Expo does not like sim links um, and adding the package with a dot dot slash in it. So I, I it just would crash every single time. So what I ended up having to do is a terrible thing is right here lib this is what I published to npm I just copied it inside of demo and then in my app.js I do dot slash lib slash Pikachu to get it to work and then in my package.json I had to install short hash because that was one of the dependencies so this is not a great way to do it at all definitely wouldn't recommend doing this but this is like my last ditch effort because I couldn't get uh, npm linking or just doing yarn add this directory Something with React Native and Expo which just didn't like it at all. But it will go ahead and work for React projects just fine. I've done it before. Um, but this did not like. So installed short hash, 
added the project, the dist of it here, and then just go ahead and using it here. Um, but I did go ahead and test the project, and it does work. Here are the three different methods now that we can do it. So this is a total drop-in replacement for image. Um, here's the source. This is us using URI. Here's us requiring a local square image. And then down here, this is handling multiple images and caching them all. So yeah, that's it for this video, guys. I just wanted to talk about a few ways you can work with local NPM modules. And then worst case scenario, you can copy it over like this. But this is not a recommended method at all. But it at least allows me to test it before I publish it to NPM. And so there's no errors when you guys use the package or anyone else uses the package. But yeah, that's it for this video, guys. Thanks for watching.